Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. Overnight, the Australian dollar tumbled to an intraday low of 68.82 as uncertainty revisits around the potential trade deal between the United States and China after fresh news reported that China was concerned about President Trump's impulsive nature. They feel that uh, although they're nearly about to sign phase one agreement between the two sides, China has felt that from the news reports that the risk of him pulling out of any kind of a deal is quite highly seen. So still, the market was a little bit jittery and the rejection from the top side of 69.25 after posting an intraday high of 29 is the fact that we tumbled quite heavily. Still, we need a little bit more confirmation to the downside and a break of 68.60 should be that confirmation to open the way back towards 68.25 and down to the preferred target that I'm calling of 67.70. A long-legged doji, which represents indecisiveness, and as the market looks towards 111.80 to 112.15, a little bit of uncertainty has come back into the market. Now, later today, we still have the US job report. Now, at 11.30 tonight in Sydney, at present, the forecast expects the US economy to add around 90,000 jobs in October down from 136,000 jobs in September. The average hourly earnings is forecasted around 0.3, and the unemployment expected to notch up from the 50-year low from 3.5 to 3.6. So from a technical point, I still feel the market will fail towards a level of 111.80 to 112.15, and look down towards the target of 111.15, and the trigger level at 110.65, which if breached, exposes the region around 109. I did state yesterday that dollar yen had clearly shown divergence to the bear case. Well, as you can see from the rejection, and also we've got a strong sell-off, is over nearly 100 points, is that dollar yen is pretty much on target to its 107.15.35. And Ria says from there, any advances on the day finds resistance at 108.55. Little to say about the pound, it's still locked in at 127.75 to 130 range and not giving much away due to the fact that the MACD is flat even though we've got about five bullish candles I still wonder where the market's going to go as we trade in this noise so I'd rather sit out for the moment and remain neutral. Since rebounding of the base of 1481 the prior day is the fact that gold surges through the level of 1501 and reaches its target at 1,514. It is assessed that the bulls are still quite strong and therefore could see a rise up towards 1,522 to the target that I'm calling at 1,528. As long as the, ma the market maintains above the level, and I do stress this at 1,495, the bulls will remain in control. Wrapping up with oil, the market slipped a little bit lower overnight and now reaches its target, which is where the support line is at $53.35.45 a barrel. I do believe the market will rebound from here and look up towards the top side still at 56. Keep your stop losses tight or according to your risk management as a move beneath the level of 52.50, which should trigger a weakness down to about $50 a barrel. So as long as the support holds at 53.35 and we don't get a cut of 52.5, the bulls will continue to look to the top side and see a rebound to this 57 region. Well, that wraps up for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the Instagram report and hope you enjoy the great start to the day and this new weekend.